Hi, I'm Brian Domingo with Comscope's DCCS or Distributed Coverage Capacity Solutions Group. I'm a business development manager responsible for helping promote and evangelize our entire wireless DAS portfolio. Today I'm going to talk about the INE. Our INE is a low-powered DAS solution that is state-of-the-art. It's a brand new platform that Comscope DCCS is introducing to market that utilizes existing wireless infrastructure. Now what I mean by wireless infrastructure, traditional enterprise solutions have fiber optics or CAT 6A cabling. We utilize that infrastructure to connect to various access points or what we call remote nodes in a traditional DAS environment. Now three key value add benefits of the INE is the fact that number one, it is frequency agnostic. So the system will support 398 megahertz all the way up to 2700 megahertz. The second thing is it's technology agnostic. So the system automatically detects any type of RF input, whether it's a small cell or whether it is a traditional base station or over-the-air repeater. Anything that's plugged into the front end of the system, the, the INE will detect and analyze the frequency base to make it agnostic for the entire platform. The third thing is, is that, which is the big value add for the INE, is that it utilizes different modes of transport to connect to uh, distributed amplifiers or universal access points throughout the entire system. So whether you're looking at single mode or multi-mode fiber or primarily CAT 6A cabling, you know, the broadband solutions that are supported by those type of infrastructure is what the INE will support. Now outside of that, there's three major components of the INE. One thing is the actual central access node or what the CAN. The CAN's responsibility is to connect with an RF source, but at the same time it's responsible for taking the RF signaling and transporting that all over the different types of media that I just alluded to. So whether the connectivity to different types of universal access points are through CAT 6A, fiber optics, it'll support that. Now traditionally where you have multiple um, you know, uh, build outs where you have campuses or multiple buildings, we also, a part of the INE, is, uh, a big part of it is also what we call a transport extension node. So the difference between the transport extension node versus the CAN is the fact that the RF signaling is at the CAN and the tent is dispersed or basically deployed in multiple buildings throughout an entire campus. And from there you actually extend over to multiple access points. The third major component is a universal access point. The access point itself is connected via CAT 6A cabling, and by doing so, we can leverage existing infrastructure that's prevalent in most IT infrastructures. So CAT 6A is typically used in uh, traditional routers or IP configurations. Now, one big value added to INE is the fact that it does support IP pass-through. So if you have a traditional Wi-Fi access point or a different type of IT infrastructure that's already deployed, you can actually plug into the head end of the CAN and that'll actually IP pass through to an access point or to some type of IP per peripheral that can be connected or daisy chained off of the access point. Now the access point, one value add also is the fact the access point can be supported uh, via power over Ethernet. So you don't need to have separate power sources located where each access point is. So what we do is we inject uh, power through the actual CAT 6A cabling and leverage power over Ethernet. So in general, the INE you can see from this is a, a state-of-the-art platform. There's a lot of new technology that's been invoked into the into the INE. So from different access points and utilizing different types of infrastructure, from CAT 6A to fiber optics, it's one of the newest platforms that we have, and we're hoping that you actually ask some of our construct representatives about the platform.